Hi, welcome to Enchiridion. Today, we are looking at the medium-sized, voracious predator of the Jurassic Seas, Liopleurodon. One of the most famous and most interesting marine reptiles known, Liopleurodon was famously featured in the Walking with Vanishers television show. In the show, the supposedly 80-foot-long creature dominated the Jurassic Seas. Except, that's not true. The controversy of Liopleurodon lies in the fact that previous fragmented fossil evidence indicated that the creature could have been over 80 feet long, making it the biggest flesh-eating vertebrate known. The truth is that Liopleurodon could only reach up to 33 feet in length. And why did they make this mistake, you might be asking? Because they deduced Liopleurodon's length from its skull. Normally, pliosaurs tend to have huge skulls as compared to the rest of their bodies. Thus, this was an inaccurate estimate. Pliosaurs were a family of marine reptiles known for their elongated heads, short necks, and long flippers attached to a thick chassis. Nonetheless, some isolated remains of Liopleurodon indicate that it could reach up to almost 25 to 33 feet in length, as we previously mentioned. Liopleurodon's body structure was of four flippers that allowed it to paddle through water effectively. The front paddles were used to steer, while the back ones functioned like wings. With a four foot long skull taking up one fifth of the total body length, and a pair of gigantic jaws each packed with four inch long, sharp teeth, Liopleurodon could have been one of the top predators in the Jurassic Seas. Its name means smooth sided teeth, and it was based on scanty fossil evidence and simply three teeth. The almost 21 to 23 foot long beast could weigh around 1,000 to 1,700 kilograms, or up to almost two tons, and achieve an extremely slow and surprising top speed of six miles per hour. In comparison, modern dolphins working hard could reach up to 20 miles per hour. Using our knowledge of the skin of animals with similar anatomy and ecology, such as dolphins or whales, Liopleurodon most probably had very smooth skin. Liopleurodon's nostril arrangement has led many scientists to believe that it could smell acutely, taste water, and follow the blood. In other words, it had a directional sense of smell. This could be compared to modern sharks as blood sensing. The very first Liopleurodon fossil was discovered by Henry Emil Sabage in 1873. What he uncovered were three tooths, each around three inches long. Liopleurodon was found in a section of a rock known as Calobian clay. Fossils have also been found in Russia and France. Liopleurodon lived in the late Jurassic period around 160 to 150 million years ago. By the start of the Cretaceous period 150 million years ago, Mosasaurs came to dominate and threaten Liopleurodon and other pliosaurs. Like whales, Liopleurodon had to breathe air. As a solitary ocean hunter, it preyed on giant fish, squids, ichthyosaurs, and even other plesiosaurs. Liopleurodon surprised prey with a sudden ambush attack that would catch them off guard. Its propulsion form wasn't the most efficient, but gave it considerable acceleration needed to kill its prey. In popular culture, Liopleurodon famously appeared in the 1999 television show Walking with Dinosaurs, impressive, though as we discussed, inaccurate. It also appeared in Ark, Survival Evolved, and Jurassic World The Game, both of which you can play. In summary, despite having notoriety for being a huge hunter, Liopleurodon was in fact a much more average and medium-sized predator. It certainly serves as a classic example of a pliosaur. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this video and want me to make more short documentaries like this, comment below what you want to see next. This is Enchiridion. See you next time.